Hi, thanks for tuning in to the Riverbed Support YouTube channel. My name is Gavin Garley, and today we're going to be talking about performance tuning with MX TCP. So we're going to have a quick discussion on what MX TCP is. We're going to overview the steps required to enable MX TCP. We're going to give you the additional resources that you might want to review if you're interested in learning more about MX TCP. And finally, we're going to demo the steps required to get MX TCP enabled. Steelhead and Steel Fusion products both use a default algorithm called a new Reno for congestion control. When you're working with performance tuning and trying to increase or maximize throughput over a pipe, that would be when you might consider using MXTCP. MXTCP can be used with multiple different protocols. In the case of Steel Fusion Edge, we use MXTCP often for trying to increase commit traffic throughput on port 7951. We often use MXTCP in the case of SAN replication protocols such as SnapMirror. The steps to configure MXTCP are the same for Steelhead CX, Steelhead EX, and Steel Fusion Edge devices. It's important to note that you need to pay attention to environment variables when working with MXTCP. Keep an eye on network device utilization, link utilization, and the impact that MXTCP could have on other traffic. So the basic steps to get MXTCP in place, you're going to create an application definition. Again, we'll be using port 7951 for Steel Fusion Edge commit traffic. You're going to create a class to enable MXTCP, and you're going to create and assign the QoS rule, which ties the application definition to the class. And finally, we'll verify outbound QoS configuration settings. If you want more detailed information on MXTCP, you can consult the Steel Fusion Design Guide, Steelhead Deployment Guide, as well as the support article S27803 on our Riverbed Support website. And now the demo. Alright, so we are logged into our Steelhead EX box here. And the first thing that we want to do is we're going to go to reports and we're going to take a look at current connections. In current connections, we are filtering down specifically on 7951. We're going to do a quick update here and we're going to expand these connections which are in relation to the Steel Fusion Edge commit data. Alright, so down here we can see that this connection has been up between the edge and the core for uh, 16 and a half minutes. We are getting optimized and right here you can see the congestion control is using new Reno. So we want that, our ultimate goal, we want new Reno to show MXTCP. So first step, let's go up here and under app definitions, let's go to applications and create the definition that we need. So we're going to add a definition and we'll call it sf underscore commit uh, sf commit port 7951 mx tcp and so we'll leave our local subnet and our local subnet port default in my lab, 1.1.1.0 slash 24 is the appropriate remote subnet. And again, we're going to specifically say the destination port is 7951. Also down here on traffic type, you're going to change that to optimized. And let's save that. So step one, our application definition is complete. Now let's go back to networking. We're going to go into quality of service. 
and we're going to create an additional class by going down to default QoS classes we're going to edit that we're going to add a class we'll call it steel fusion commit and right here where it says outbound Q type we're going to change that to MX TCP and add that class and we need to save that change alright now we're going to add a rule to our default QoS rules here and we're going to type in SF underscore and you see how it populates for us the application definition that we created in one of the previous steps and the QoS class that we want to define or assign this to is going to be the Steel Fusion commit right here the one we just added so that's what's tying our application application definition to our QoS class very simply save that so a couple of other things we need to check up at the top here we've got enable QoS we want to enable outbound QoS shaping and we're going to save that also under manage QoS per interface we're going to make sure that our appropriate interfaces have outbound QoS enabled which in this case they do now f the other thing that we'll need to check under networking we're going to go to sites and networks and we just want to validate that this site does indeed have the default outbound QoS profile set to default which it does here so we should be in good shape let's swing back into our current connections report now and we're going to throw a quick update here just for the sake of argument and you can see right now we're still using uh, new Reno which is right here for congestion control let's throw a reset connection at that and at the second connection here we have two LUNs that are projected that's why we have two connections over port 7951 and this one also you can see is on new Reno we're going to throw a reset at that all right quick update and we have one other connection that has come in and you can see now that it is at MX TCP for congestion control the other connection may just take a couple of seconds to show up let's throw another update at it and there we go so we have MX TCP on that connection MX TCP on that connection thanks again for tuning in if you find this content useful please feel free to subscribe and leave comments have a great day everyone